Six thousand dollars. So many purses. Six hundred. Three hundred purses. What? Three hundred purses. What the fuck are you talking about? We agreed to ten dollars a purse. Twenty dollars a purse. Hey, you said fucking ten. Twenty. Give me that fucking thing. No, this is fucking bullshit. We agreed to ten dollars a purse. Twenty dollars. Fucking... Fuck you. Hold it. Hold it. What's the point in negotiating with these fuckers if they don't keep their word? Ten dollars a purse, but for every fifty we move, you get two hundred dollar bonus. Plus, we guarantee a year's business. That's more than fucking fair, and it might stop him from shooting you. Be clear. My yeah. Don't die, what? Someone be clear. Could die sing what I got. My yeah. Fuck are you talking about? Yes or no? Hey. How? All right. Fuck's sake. These are good sausages. No, this is a really good. It's the marinade. Secret formula. Vinegar and garlic. My lips are sealed. So, nice work protecting Brendan there, boys. America's finest. The fuck happens now? You gonna let Freddy walk? Unless the gods intervene, I may have to. Of course, I gave you Nizoli. Ah, the Bugger's Clubhouse on Mason Street. Now, we need probable cause. Yeah? So what do you need him to have done? We would also need the layout of his clubhouse. You know, where Nizoli makes his phone calls, where to put the bugs. So? All right. All right. Well, I can't promise, Michael, about Freddy. Law's the law. Right. Absolutely. I fucking talk to Michael tonight. Listen, be diplomatic about it. Remind him who the fuck has been taking care of him for 10 years, okay? He said that? He, you know something? You know, no, 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 fuck him. Fuck him. Break his fucking balls. I want my fucking money. <laughs> fucking ingrates. How many of those you go for a week? Too fucking many. It's cut into my profit margins. Yeah. Okay. He's a little claustrophobic. He's a big guy to be stuck in a space that small. I've been meaning to get up to Sam, but you know, I'm so fucking jammed here, you know what I mean? I know. I know. Where's the time? So I, uh... I brought you a little gift. How do you feel about going into the purse business? That's very handsome. It's beautiful. It's also fake. A real Gucci like that, I'll set you back a uh, whole bunch of money. It's, I know. A lot of money. It's shit. 700 bucks. Yeah. You know how much that one cost? 60. So why include me? Why not keep the profits for yourself? Well, best outlet for stuff like that is a place called the Beauty Spot in Garden City. Very nice, very out market, very tasteful, ladies' clothes and such like. And the owner is a, a, a guy called Jack Costello. And I don't know what I've done, but he, he doesn't want to do business with me. What kind of split you have in mind? 80-20. I know Jack Costello in the store very well. My fucking wife, God bless her. 
spends a small fortune there every year. No shit. I could buy a fucking country for what she drops into that asshole's pockets. You know what I'm saying? In that case, I'm thinking 70, 30. And I do all the work. I'll gladly be a partner. And I'll gladly stick it up Costello's ass. <laughs> uh, and all he does his business sitting there. Maybe you could put a bug in this, this a heating duct right there. Or, I don't know, maybe one in the light switch for good measure, because, you know, he's paranoid. He's got music on all the time. I don't know, I think you're going to need a lot of mics. Are there any other outlets? Uh, there's a light switch by every door, and there's a there's an outlet on, on every wall. There's a, a water pipes coming up in the corner, I think. I mean, it's not perfect, but... Yeah, we can go in at night. Be out in five hours tops. So we good? Sure. All right. This is an affidavit stating that Nazoli intimated to you that he was responsible for the death of Herbie the Jew Berkowitz. It also states that you personally witnessed Nazoli charging rent to drug traffickers on the Lower East End of Providence. Hmm. I I've been killed for this murder. Bad guy. What's going on, Freddy? Well, despite the loss of our witness, we've decided to go ahead and prosecute our case against Freddy. Which should keep him off the streets for at least a few years. Oh. Right there? Right there. You know, I, I believe this is what they call making a deal with the devil. Giggs, Michael is our ally in the war against crime. Thank you. Pleasure doing business with you, gentlemen. Listen, I'm sorry I've not been out here more. I've been running around like crazy. It ain't easy filling Freddy's shoes. But, um... It's 20 grand there. When you want more, it's not a problem. Just let me know. Thank you, Michael. Things get a little tight sometimes. I know, I get it. Got bills to pay, right? Kids to feed. It's hard without Freddy. Boys listen to him, they don't listen to me. Is this something I can do? You want me to I don't have a man-to-man -man conversation with him or... No, that's okay. Don't worry. We'll get Freddy out. That bastard Franklin really has it out for Freddy, doesn't he? Franklin can only bend the law so far. At some point, he's got to admit he's got no case. Mm, that's what Boyle says. Jack Boyle? Top boy, knows what he's talking about. What's important is you don't lose hope, okay? Keep your chin up for your kids and for Freddy, for yourself. Hmm? That's about it. I like it. I was just, what are we doing? We're just staring at a fucking screen. Nothing happens. Oh, it's good. It takes my mind off things. What things? You know, st stuff, things, uh, whatever. Why, what's your problem? I don't have a problem. Come on, what? Don't, don't jump down my throat. Uh, no, I wasn't, I wasn't jumping down your throat. Oh, hey, I got you something. I didn't have time to wrap it or anything. It's not groceries. It's not groceries. <laughs> Should I open it? No, 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 no. Let's just sit and stare at the bag for a couple hours. OK. Hmm. Right. 
Fuck you, Michael. I'm not that easy. Hey, Daco. Hey, Michael. What's the big mystery? I've come to a point in my life where I need a clean conscience. What's, uh, is that a good thing or a bad thing? It was Freddie who had your skull bashed in. He had some guys from out of town do it. I, uh, a friend of mine in Intel told me a while back. The, the Russian thing? I, I don't know. I, I just, I, I should have told you sooner. I'm sorry. I haven't been a very good friend. Don't be stupid. You're not a friend. Good family. Could you try and enjoy the holiday spirit at least? Ah, it'll so cheer you up. Got it from a truck heading from Cambridge, some fancy liquor store in Harvard Square. I think it's good stuff. Yeah, thanks, Mike. 20 bench. It's a decent cabernet. Big thanks, Kim. Yeah. <laughs> 